and uh, I remember like me feeling like I don't even know why I'm leaving because I felt like even God is letting me down I felt like nobody is understanding me I could see as if I'm the only person who has been in this situation and it became so so hard for me even to pray for me even to read the bible or even take any encouraging moment that maybe those who knew what I'm going through that were talking about like nothing made sense. Hi guys, hello, how is everybody? Karo Suji once again with another interesting video. So guys, it's a while, it's been long, it's been long, Karo, it's been long and I know I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I'm letting you guys down, but this is the time. I feel like this is the time that God has chosen. This is the time that it is the right time for me to come back on YouTube and talk to you guys. I know I've been talking to you uh, here and there, telling you guys, oh, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming to tell you uh, why I've not been on YouTube and I'm here guys and i thank you guys for those who have subscribed to my channel thank you for those who have watched and continue subscribing and today uh i'm coming with a very i don't know how i can call it but it's kind of like a story and uh just to show you uh quite some of the things that uh have been happening and what is going on and where I am at at this moment so I don't know what to say but for a while and before I say that I want to say that um, I'm grateful for who I am today I'm grateful for this day and um, so much has been happening behind the scenes and uh, maybe some of my friends may know this or maybe when i talk about it they will be like okay oh so that is what was like that like that so i just want to tell you a small story and uh it's quite emotional it's quite um not something that i felt like i'm ready to do for a while but to some extent i just felt that I needed to do and I wanted to share about something that happened for those who are watching me you have seen my thumbnail picture and uh, that day is a very nice day and it was a very nice day uh, for me and I'm about to tell you a story behind it so this is what happened and uh, before that before I took a picture of before I took that picture I had this quite uh, a couple of weeks of me feeling so low so down i feel like i failed i feel like i'm hating myself i feel like i'm letting myself down i'm let i'm feeling like i'm not good enough i'm feeling like like it was so emotional like breaking down i wanted to be alone and for those who may understand and those who may have the same who may have experienced the same thing you know that those are some of the signs of depression and uh i did not even want to cook i do not even want to wake up from my bed i do not even want to eat i don't like when i hear even somebody telling me they are coming to my place i'm like i just want to cook something like i just want to find something to tell them either i'm not there or let's meet another day or something just because i did not feel okay and i did not feel like i wanted uh anybody to be uh in my space that time and i felt the same even with my kids i felt the same 
even with my spouse and I felt like everybody is bothering me, everybody is nagging, everybody is not understanding me, everybody like I cannot even explain this moment like it was a very very sad moment and uh I remember like me feeling like I don't even know why I'm leaving because I felt like even God is letting me down I felt like nobody is understanding me I could see as if I'm the only person who has been in this situation and it became so so hard for me even to pray for me even to read the bible or even take any encouraging moment that maybe those who knew what I'm going through that were talking about like nothing made sense at that moment I felt like even God does not love me I felt like I'm too old even to be going through this I felt like, I'm sorry guys, I felt like, like I, I could see this darkness in my mind and even in my surrounding, like there, there was no way for me to get out, out of uh, this place that I am at, at this position or at this time. And uh, I remember I was just seated by myself and I cannot even tell what I'm thinking about and having even sleepless nights, I can't sleep or even, even when I take sleeping pills, I cannot sleep. Like even if I go to sleep, my mind is not shutting. Like I'm, my mind is constantly uh, moving and... Uh, it's something that was scary and I felt like even when I talk to somebody or when I talk to people about it like nobody understands and nobody even can tell me like what is going on I remember uh, there is even a time uh, I went to the hospital and uh, and this is something that I don't know us as immigrants i don't know if it's only me that is feeling this way or even somebody else who might be watching me who is living in the diaspora even if when you get therapy even if when you go to therapy and sorry to say i do not want to quote like if these people who live who belong here in these countries they have not lived our life in africa or even in another country this is somebody whatever this person knows is what is here so when you come with what you know from where you are coming from or in your country it's so hard for them even to 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 understand like what you are going through and even to help you it becomes so hard so you find that even when you go to them for therapy Every time you go home, you feel like you are wasting the time because there is no moment that this person will ever understand what you are talking about. And uh, that is something that uh, I'm planning to talk about in maybe my next video or another time. And now to this story of this day uh was that my son was supposed to go to a birthday party and i wasn't supposed to go so they were to go with the dad and i was to be left home and 
I think I would say the Holy Spirit talked to my husband or something. I don't know. And I had already prepared the baby for so that they can go. And he just told me, are you not going? And I was like, no, remember, I'm not going. I'm, I wasn't supposed to go. And he was like, no, we have to go with you. It's not, nobody said that you're not supposed to go. And I was like, I was kind of hesitating to go. And so I got ready, still feeling like I'm just wasting my time. Like, I don't even know why I'm going. And throughout the drive, because from our house to where we were going, it was almost like one hour. Because I think it was like 50, 50 something minutes. It was a different part of where we live. I've never been there before. So it was, it started as we, we drove, it started becoming like I could see things and I'm like, oh wow, this place looks nice. I don't know, like, like that and like that. So when we got to where we were going, uh, it was in a, the, part, the birthday party was in a mall because it's a place where kids go to play because it was a kid's birthday. That's why my son was going. And they were just going to have fun and play and eat and just be there. So when we got there, uh, people had not come. Like our African people, you know them. With time, they are not very, very good. So we decided, you know what, we've never been here. So I asked my husband, can we just go around this mall and see, just see. We, are, we had no budget of buying anything, but just look at things. I like looking at good things and when I got there I saw this mall was like so nice it's woo. everything I'm seeing here it's really nice and I'm like wow this place is beautiful so uh, we went into one store out there and we were like wow I saw this bed where now I took this picture and I saw the frame of that bed and the mattress and it was really fascinating and I was like wow I was telling my husband look at this this is this is a nice bed like look how beautiful it is look how well the finishing and everything so I started appreciating the work that was done towards that bed and putting it together even the mattress and the bedding and everything that was put up in that uh, in that bed and all of a sudden I okay for that moment I did not realize but I ended up enjoying having fun we went to a couple of stores there I saw beautiful stuff I even I remember even we entered in a in another store there with kids stuff and just something hyped me like seeing these and appreciating good things and I was like, I wish I can one day I'll have this bed in my house. And it became so certain, like in my mind, like, you know what? Even if I have to save, like, I remember this is what I said to my uh, her husband. I, I told him, even if I have to save for one year or even six months for this bed, I will do that. I really love it and I really want it. And so when I looked at this photo now, days after and uh, I'm like the memories now started coming down like how uh, pr prior days the way I was thinking the way my mind was and the way the mood was and everything that uh, I was going through and why am I telling this story I'm telling this story because I know maybe there is somebody out there who might be in the same situation that I was at? Who might be feeling that the life has nothing, to, she, she or he has nothing to offer to this life? And you're feeling like everything is letting you down. You're feeling like you're letting even yourself down. You feel like it is, life, like life is not even worth living. I just want to tell you one thing. Just go outside. Leave your house. Leave the room where you are. I know it is a dark place. 
just go outside look at the trees out there just look at the look at the environment and start appreciating the beauty in those trees the beauty in those buildings the beauty in everything that is created out there and for a while forget about yourself just appreciate that one that you are seeing out there and the moment you start appreciating it the moment now you start even appreciating yourself because why am i saying this it's because it happened to me i've walked into those shoes i know what it means i know there is that dark moment that you feel like even god i didn't know you can make me go through this but one thing i've come to realize is that god is not looking for that perfect person god is looking for the imperfect so that he can make them perfect because all of us we are perfectly imperfect in everything that we try to do in everything that we say in everything that we do so don't judge don't judge yourself so harsh do not judge yourself so much just take every day at a time go out there appreciate even if it is in your house like now i like one thing in my house i like when my house my kitchen is clean and my bed is made and my bathroom is clean and i'm telling you the moment i wake up and i start feeling these are things that i started doing because i sat down with myself and uh, i wrote down the things that uh lifts my spirit anytime and i realized that those things they make me feel better so i wake up take a shower make my bed clean up my kitchen clean up my bathroom and everything that day i'll be so happy like i'll feel fulfilled i may not have done anything else i may not have done something but me doing that makes me feel fulfilled so don't give up on yourself continue pushing and this life is beautiful take things at a time i'm trying i'm not in a better position but i've decided to try i've decided to appreciate every day when i wake up every moment small small things that i do like now i would i'll tell you i felt like i'm not even the right person to be on this youtube and telling anybody what to do or how they can go about life but i keep seeing even on my dms on instagram or even tiktok and something i see people like they 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 someone will talk to me or even out there people will talk to me and they will be like there is this something they like about me but i don't know but i and the moment i start appreciating that even god will be happy with me so keep trying keep pushing and see you on the next one I'm so happy. Subscribe, share this video. You might be helping somebody out there. Bye and see you on my next one.